Hey guys, I just wanted to come on and do a little bit of a different video. Um, and I'm not sure if this is going to work at all. But I have makeup on, but I'm going to alter this makeup to do kind of Halloween makeup. And I have tried to do like a greyish. Um, foundation but I don't know if it's even going to work. I'm just painting some on here. And now Sorry, I just had to go find my mirror because looking in the viewfinder is kind of difficult. I can just tell right away that this grey isn't grey. But yeah. Let's just try anyways. And yes, this is actually um eyeshadow brush because I needed to, something to pick up eyeshadow to make this great but yeah and just slapping on a lot because I'm going to blend it out with the Laura and Luke brush and let's see okay that did not work for me hang on Oh, sorry, I just had to make some more of the grey. So, let's see. Thankfully these brushes are like cheap brushes, <laughs> so if they get ruined it's okay. Yeah, like that. But I know I can just wash them off again, so yeah. Yeah, I look so silly right now. It does have a great tint to it, so maybe it's going to work after all. So now I'm just buffing it in. Hopefully it won't won't uh, go away too much. I do love Halloween and I do wish we would celebrate Halloween more than what we do but it's not like tradition to do that here so yeah I 
like that I think. That's about as good as it's going to get. Yes, now I have three brushes to clean and actually one stamping block. Use anything to for a palette for sure. I'm actually going to try to fix this. Let's see. Yeah, okay. That won't work. So. Taking the hot work. Yeah. And I'm using matte grey um, from my MUA palette just to test this out with. So, yeah. And I'm just going to have to fix this little one. Like that. Um, squeaky chair. I'm sorry. I just have to have a rug to wipe my brushes off because I'm not using my Lauren brushes apart from the foundation one for this look. Next up, um, because I'm going to do something to my eyes as well. Um, using some matte colours um, maybe I should just do that first because I need to mattify this look good huh? We have a tractor going back. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> so that was the lightest color. Oh, like that. And now. I want to make my eyes look kind of sunken in-ish so what I'm doing now is I'm taking the darker brown and I am going in my crease this is something I shouldn't do but I am doing it and I'm placing it up quite heavily like that same on the other side and for what is okay it doesn't matter because I am going to just go over with the uh, foundation brush and I can see that I'm actually going to have to find I'm going to have to use some black some matte black so I'm using another MEA palette I don't want so much like that. It's so difficult working with a small mirror. I'm using my finger just to clean up this. Like that. I'm like pushing this into my crease. To make my eyes look sunken in. It's so difficult working with these brushes. It's okay. Wow. Okay. I'm going to take this one and 
just clean up a little bit here. like that and now to wipe off that brush to blend this out even further and I'm actually going to use the lightest colour just to blend with a little bit more and I just put the brush into my eye oh yeah that bloody nose oh ouch oh brush with makeup on into your eye is not good whatsoever Oh my god. Okay, for real? Okay, wow. Oh, now I have one red eye. Oh well, gonna be careful. Fix up this one carefully. Because it wasn't this one, it was a small one. I thought I was okay. <laughs> but obviously it wasn't. That is that. Okay. And here comes the um, brows. And all I'm using is like Eyebrow Fix by H&M and I'm just lifting my brows up with this Like that, and now an eyebrow pencil. I'm just filling in a little bit just to make them a little bit more prominent. And I'm fanning everything upwards on my brows now. So 
like that. This, like this. And now, here comes the funny part. Well, actually, first off, I'm going to just put some, some nude lip on my lips. So, yeah. Okay, first off. I'm sorry, there's a lot of first off because I can see things. As I go along, this was kind of spare at the moment. Thing. So like that. Here comes the funny part. I'm gonna frown. And you can hear my baby girl crying. She hates. And now I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna follow. All the lines. Oh, yeah. like that. Now I'll try to wipe off my eye. Now I'm actually going to use this brush just to like smooth these lines out. Oh, I'm sorry, smooth these lines out a little bit because I don't want them as harsh. Big bags under my eyes. I'm sorry if I go quiet. It's just yeah, it's just easy for me.
like that. And now, any pretty old lady has her oily cheeks, don't she? Like big puffy oily cheeks. And hang on. So I just had to get up and get um, the blush. Oh, do. I kind of don't like this line that much because it's so prominent. It looks, yeah, it looks weird. Kind of any everything here looks weird, but. So, onto the blush. And I'm just using a cheap brush. And to make me look older, I'm just going to fan this on the apple on my cheek. Hopefully, this will work. Wow, this brush is horrible. Okay. Little bit on Anne's nose, like that. So that was what I was going to do today. I just felt like doing something weird, strange, whatever. Um old lady like yeah for Halloween um, just for shits and giggles really um, I should really have um, sharpened my brow pencil because that would have made the lines a lot better because they should have been really thin and then found out but yeah this is my old lady for Halloween look. You see my fleshy cheeks and my grey skin. Yeah, or sort of grey skin. So, yeah. Just for shits and giggles. If you liked it, if you want me to do any more Halloween ish stuff, just like this video and comment what you want to see. Um, so, yeah. Bye. See you soon.